So many of you guys may be noticing this message pop up in your Roblox to set up two-factor authorization. Also, if you ever need to recover your account, it sounds like you have to set this up in order to be able to recover your account if anything is stolen in the future. So uh, right here, I'm gonna show you how to set up this two-factor authorization here in Roblox to help keep your account secure. So you wanna go to the settings uh, up at the top. Uh, you're gonna need one of these, Microsoft Authenticator, the Google Authenticator, or uh, Twillow's Authy. Um, I I've, I've used Authy before. I've got it for Discord and some other things. Um, uh, Google, Microsoft. We're going to take a closer look at all of these. So here we are in my iPhone. We're going to the App Store. We're going to take a look at all of these applications. Uh, really, all you have to do is just go to the search there at the bottom right and then type uh, Authenticator app. And if you type that, then you can scroll down and you can see just like the second and third ones that pop up there, the Microsoft Authenticator and the Google Authenticator. Google only has two stars. It doesn't seem like people are liking it so much. So I'm thinking maybe there's a reason uh, for that. So I would steer you guys away from it. The uh, Microsoft Authenticator has really good ratings right there. Uh, so if we uh, scroll down, you can see we've also got Authy, which is already there. Uh, the Twi Twilio's Authy, I already had that one downloaded. Uh, so I've got that one already. Uh, so uh, now we're gonna open that one up if we wanna use it. We're gonna show you um, two of them, the Authy and Microsoft Authenticator. So so first thing we're gonna do is the authenticator. It's got 4.8 stars, where Authy has 4.7 stars. So this one is the highest rated one of the three that it recommends. Now, first thing, if you haven't done this before already, it's going to ask you to add an email address to your account so it can actually verify your email address and it's gonna send you a link to your email address and then you will actually get a free item out of this. So it is it is worthwhile to do that. So you just enter whatever your email address is right here. Uh, right here, I'm typing DieterPlaysBusiness at gmail.com, then click on add email, check your email inbox and it should be right there with a link that says verify email. So all you do is just click on that verify email email and then it'll take you to this page it'll say that you're verified and it will give you this item for free as well so after you do that then this is what you guys have to do in order to set up the two-factor authorization so up in settings, you wanna to go to the security tab in my settings. And then in the security, you can see right there, it says uh, re receive codes from an authenticator app to confirm identity. So you click on that to enable, and then you're gonna get a QR code right here. So this QR code is something that you're gonna to wanna to scan with your mobile device. Uh, you're also going to get some backup codes as a part of this process. If you don't have access to your mobile device or something like that in the future, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you save those. So uh, at this point, what you need to do is just go to your new application. We've got the uh, authenticator right there from Microsoft. Uh, click on agree. Of course, there's a there's a privacy agreement for all of this stuff. And they're basically saying, we're gonna take care of your privacy. Uh, so of these options right here, scan a QR code, and then it's going to ask, ask, ask you if it can access your camera. Then we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna scan that code. Then it is going to give us a six digit code. We're gonna take that six digit code. Then we're gonna go back into the application on our PC and we're going to enter that six digit code right there so uh, click on that and then click on verify and then it's gonna go through another verification process have you enter your password and then it's gonna give you a list of 10 recovery codes so uh, guys copy these paste them down on notepad or a Microsoft Word document or something make sure you save these somewhere I would say like save them in two places save them on your computer uh, send them to yourself in an email Maybe even just write them down on a piece of paper and put them away somewhere where you know where they are because you're gonna need those. So next time you log in, you just click on log in. And instead of saying like it's gonna send something to your email, it's going to send something from your authenticator app. So at this point, this is how you're going to be signing on in the future. You have the option there, of course, to click the trust this device for 30 days. Uh, so you can either do this every time you log in or you can trust the device for 30 days and uh, do this just every 30 days that you log in like you would if they sent something to your email so at this point we're gonna go back to our authenticator app and the fact that we've got that you can use a face ID or your phone ID to be able to access it as soon as you sign on there you can see it's got a six digit code right there and it's going to time out so you've got a little bit of time uh, if it changes the code and it doesn't work you're just gonna have to use the updated one so sometimes you gotta be a little fast so uh, we're going to go and grab that code we've got 704 797 I'm going to trust this device for 30 days and then at that point you can just click on verify and then as long as you've got the codes that match from your authenticator app then boom you are going to sign in and you can see i'm signed in 
here to my uh, my alternative account here uh, with the username Fling Flamingo that we used to teach you guys how to change your username. So uh, also, this is Authy right here. I've noticed with Authy, if you try to do it, it says format not supported. So if you're having this issue with the Authy application, if that's what you're using, uh, there's always the option to just enter it manually. It says can't scan the QR code, click here to manually enter for manual entry. So you're gonna click right there where it says that to uh to click down there for the manual entry and then if you do this from the application from the roblox app when you're trying to set it up then what it's going to do is it's going to give you like a really really long code so that you can set it up manually on the other application okay so now that we've clicked on that it says right here we've got a really really long code right there it's going to take forever to enter it manually uh so what i recommend is just kind of enter it what about four digits at a time just make sure you've got it right and uh it looks like it's upper case i did uppercase just in case because these are uppercase as well so uh, i would recommend just do it in the format that it is right here all right so here we are inside the app it says on the very bottom there no qr code enter key manually so you've got the uh option to do that here on the application apparently this is not the first time it's happened with authy then over here is where you're going to manually enter that really long code yeah it's going to take a little bit of time because it is really really long but once you enter it it should go on to the next page here and you get to search for a logo so uh, you can actually search for roblox and then it will find the roblox app logo so that is the uh, logo for the app actually it's i don't think it's the most recently updated logo for the app i think the new one is actually black but uh right there you can also enter a uh, account name you can put it uh whatever whatever you want to call it it's just something that you want to remember it on the authy application uh this is the name of the alternate account is john doe bring it on so I might as well just save it as that name. And then right there, you can see it will be one of your accounts there in Authy. And uh, I've also got my Discord and my Twitch in there. So this is an application that you can use for many things. And it's gonna give you those six digits as soon as you enter that as well. And then we're gonna go back to the program. We're gonna enter the six digits. And then this is the same process that we've gone through already uh, to set it up. Uh, it gives you the recovery codes. Make sure you guys copy these recovery codes and uh and you put these somewhere where you do not lose them because the recovery codes are really really important uh guys just make sure you don't lose these okay uh it's just yeah uh, uh like i said send them to yourself as a, in an email save them on a notepad and uh, also write them down somewhere so you don't lose them and if you need to sign in you don't have any issues because sometimes we lose our phones and we lose access to our phones or our accounts weird stuff can happen so uh it's always good to have a nice little backup or 10 right here uh and also if you guys are new here i would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell and thank you so much for watching we'll talk to you guys later